Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. This message is for the collective. For the collective, I'm gonna go ahead and ground for the collective. All right, so you, so this is what message I got. But I've been getting this all day, y'all. So your person is your person's karmic. Is they know who you are, right? And your person may not even know they know who you are. Either your person told them about you. And now they're on a mission to stalk you and be negative towards you. And they, like, know where you live and everything. And you may not know this, but they may be watching you. They're, they're finding some cover way. Even if they may not be coming by your house directly, they're finding some type of disguise or mask to put on so they can watch you, right? Because your, your person is not in contact with you right now. Because, as I've said previously over and over, they're working on their self, but they're not in contact with this karmic either. Okay? If this is a person, this is not going to resonate with everybody, but if this is not an addiction or something else that they're putting before you, if this is an actual person and this is a third-party situation, this message is for you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm going to start off with my romance cards. Gonna start off with my romance cards, y'all. And I wanna thank Meow 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 for donating to this channel. It did help me purchase this deck of cards. These are new cards. So I do appreciate that. And another subscriber, I don't know them by name, but I appreciate you also purchasing something from my website. I do put things back to the channel so we can help ourselves right okay getting to know each other right so this karmic is mad that this person has got to know you in the past even if you're in um even if you're in separation from your person the karmic knows that there's some things that y'all revealed to each other that has deepened this bond and they may have, your person may have told them or told them like, okay, why are you acting like this? Like, I have this person that have, that we have a connection with or, and this, this person knows that. So they're very jealous of you, right? Then we have definitely children. Your love life is being affected by children. So there definitely could be children involved in this situation. Um, the karmic is definitely keeps on throwing up the children um, in, in this situation. Um, to keep the your person stuck, right? They're like, oh, but you're gonna do this to your child. Um, you came from a per, uh, uh, you didn't come from a two parent household. I want my our children to come from a two parent household. But even though, like, you may be in a two parent household and all that, that's all fine and well. But if you arguing, fussing, and fighting, and doing all that shit every damn day, um, with this karmic person, what difference does it make? It's a healthy household that uh, a child can succeed in, right? And look, there's gonna be a lot of forgiving and learning in this connection. As you release and heal the past and experience and more love in the present moments. So they're trying to um, learn and they're forgiving themselves right now. What else? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Angels, ancestors, Holy Father, thank you. Speak through me if I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will. Please and thank you. Okay, so we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So, yes, you've definitely been sturdy and, or not sturdy, but you've been not uh, the opposite of sturdy. You, sturdy. You've been wavering in the trust because you've been up in your head about the situation. Like, is it ever going to fucking happen for real? You know what I mean? But but um, your angels and spirit are saying trust, trust that you have to wait, and this person is definitely working on themselves right now. Wow. That's flew all the way over there. Y'all see that? Wedding. Because this person, this this person that you're um, thinking about right now, it could definitely involve marriage in the future. This person sees you as their counterpart. And they're asking other people for help right now. Because they're going through their shadow work and they're going through a lot right now. Um, and they're letting others help them. They're asking and accepting help from others. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yes. So this karmic person knows that they no longer love them. It used to be like um, nothing else. But they know that they have their heart somewhere else. 
they know that they have their heart somewhere else. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some charms on it. Let's go ahead and see what the energy is with these charms, you guys. Let's see what this karmic is thinking. Thinking about you right now. Then I'll put some tarot on it. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Capricorn, Libra. We have Capricorn here twice, Gemini, or Leo. Take it how it resonates. This person, it could be their, um, their rising or their moon. But we do have a key here, and they're trying to unlock that key. They're trying to unlock that key, and we do have an anchor. So they're being weighed down. They're being weighed down for sure. They're trying to swim away to calmer waters. They're going through a lot of pain. That seahorse, if you ever seen it giving birth, it's like, uh, it's painful. If you ever seen that, like, that's my, that's my term for pain. But we also have this wonderful unicorn. So they see you as a very magical person. And this comic person knows this. This comic person def definitely knows this. They know, look at this little turtle, y'all. They know that the person that is no longer theirs is coming very slowly but surely. They're trying to get their shit together. They're coming very slowly but surely. And you see it has a ring in his mouth, right? It's coming to give you an offer. Like a damn turtle, slow as hell. But once it gets where it's going, it's definitely going to stay where it's going. Right? They finally getting there. It's taking years. Taking months. But they're getting to where they're going. And it's slow but steady. Okay? And then they find you very beautiful, and they also find you very mysterious, right? It's just the mystique of it all. It's like a Siamese cat. That cat is so beautiful, right? We have two keys right here. One was a key to understanding and knowing. Look, look how the keys are different. Knowing who they are and blossoming. You see that flower? They're blossoming into who they should be. And this other key is a key to their heart. It's a key to their heart. And they're manifesting you right now. And they want to give you that key to their heart. And they're going through a transformation. Butterfly. They're going through a transformation right now. All right. Let's put some tarot on it. This is for all of my twins out there that know that this karmic person is jealous of them. And they know that this, your person is coming towards you. And they can't stop it because they put spells and shit like that in the past. But guess what? That only slowed it down. It's not stopping anything. This person is working to get towards you with the quickness. All right, all right, all right. Look, first we have the Nine of Wands. They have to get the courage and the strength to come towards you because they know that you may be defensive. And, and this karmic person has put them in their mind where they have emasculated them so much and put them down so much that they're afraid. They're afraid what even to say, what to do, how to react. Like, they don't even know how to come forth and come towards you, right? And they know they got to come correct. What else? What else? Look, what did I say? They're going to come towards you with this offer. Um, they're manifesting you right now. They're studying you. This karmic person is also studying you. They're trying to be a copycat, but they can't compare. But you, because you're very ambitious and you're very diligent and, and, and it's only one you, right? Then we have the tower. This person definitely has gone through a crisis in their life where something was unexpected. But they did release what, or not say they did, but they're going through releasing what no longer serves them. Then we have the three of wands and, and reverses. The, this is definitely the karmic that has been seeing a lack of foresight. There's a lot of obstacles that's been in the way. They have been the delay. They have been the delay. The karmic person has been the delay, okay? Putting kids and children and trying to say, uh, well, don't do Johnny Boy like that um, because you didn't have your parents, even though you, the karmic is cheating, lying, stealing, at beg, barring, stealing, you know, all that shit just to keep them up in their head. Because remember, this person does see a future with you. They do see a future with you. Then we have the Queen of Cups, yeah. Because this karmic knows that they want this new romantic opportunity with you. They know that you're very mature and you're calm. You're not in that energy where you're like, meh, 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 
meow, meow. Always got to be right. Always got to say some shit. You just want to be heard and accepted for who you are. But you don't have to argue. You don't have to lose your temper. You don't have to do any of that shit. Because you're a divine feminine. And, and you rise higher. And we know how to communicate effectively to what we want to express, right? So it's not going to be any confusion, which it has been. And this person is like, karmic quirk who's like confused. They're acting like they lost their damn mind because they've been mis misusing their power and emasculating this man, trying to tell him what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it, why to do it, all of that shit, trying to control this person. And you cannot control another person, right? It's been They have not been able to communicate effectively. And we know how to do that, right? Yeah, but this person is in their full energy. And the karmic knows that they are in their full energy and they want to come towards you. They don't have any limitations. Because what did I say? What did I say? This ends. You are their ten of cups. And, and the karmic person knows that you are their ten of cups. They see a happy relationship. Happy family. They see satisfaction, completion, good fortune, harmony. And they're very grateful for you. Right? Okay, okay, okay. That's great. That's great. That's great. Don't forget to get your energy in and trust. Trust because you know who this person is. Trust and believe. As always, peace, love, and namaste.